Tonight's first presenter is MFA candidate Pedro Andrade. Hello. Hi, everyone. My name is Pedro Andrade, also known as Pedro Thunders. Um, I'm a designer, and of course I'm here. But mainly, I love music, and I could never separate those things. And I'll tell you why. It could be traced back to these records you see on the screen. They're the very first six ones that I remember getting it. I got them when I was around 10. My dad used to take me to a record store and would not let me leave until I bring one home. And as a young kid, like 10, I didn't have much reference to what to get other than the ones that looked awesome. Well, it turned out that I was bringing something much deeper to my house. I was bringing the very cultures that shaped my personality, gave me tone, gave me voice, made me appreciate diversity. But I think that this relationship between what's seen and heard, it's not only unique to me. And if you know this song, then you cannot separate this thing. Or can you imagine watching this scene with no music? Yeah. It's painful. But what about if when I got to the record store, the records look like this? I'd probably still be there and definitely not here. Well, it is not, um, let's do it here. It's not unique to any culture, genre, time, generation. These are the products of a very combination of two arts that make the remarkable movies, the, the remarkable pieces of art, and ultimately build the cultures that we live in. So if we look at a couple of the elements that it's necessary for that collaboration to happen, we have different products and platforms all over, they are great but none of them really serves all the areas. Looking at all these platforms, I started thinking, how do we take these things and finally use them to connect the two arts? And I think I have an answer. The strongest of the strength. Yes, sound and vision, but what is it? We are a community, we make projects, and we have programs. For the community, our artists can network and can guide and can 
count on our guidance. We have different projects across different medias and different crafts, and our programs are aimed to give more deep connections between the artists and advance their crafts. Starting with the community, what do we help with? We help with production. We help match their time, time frames. We curate in case they need somebody to uh, figure out who's the best one to work on their own projects. And very overlooked legal terms, not to make it complicated, just so everybody knows what they're agreeing on. And on our projects, the first one being released is United by Walks. It's a box set compilation of five records produced by the collaboration of 10 artists, Breaks in Pairs. It's launching this month. Um, we have a very similar format. We have Sound and Vision Films, which is with our motion community and our score composing community. And it's stream at our media channels and partnering festivals. And of course, we have to do this thing live. So Live Labs is where we get our interactive artists, bands, and we make different installations and audiovisual immersive experiences that come from our first program, Sound Vision Labs, which are jam sessions that we bring all these artists together and we figure out what are we going to cook for the next day? Well, back on it. All right. So this has to live somewhere. And our matching place is our website, where you can find all the information. Our users can have their profiles with what they're about, their work, of course, and, of course, join the projects and the programs. Pretty good artists right there. Good beat. Sweet. Okay. So, if we go back now, so we understand, we are a community for and by sound and visual artists, uh, all joined by invitation and application. We do that so we can maintain the level of work and we can have trust between all of us so we know we're all about the same thing. We offer a community projects, and programs. And of course, it has to sustain itself. So we charge 8% on the final quotes on our assistance. Our projects have roughly a 30% margin of profit, and the programs are partnership-based. Um, more in, the, in depth, the support, it comes from the cost of the production of goods, if we help them with that, and the final quote, if it was labor. Very importantly, on our projects, we don't rely on a single cent from our artists. For that, we have different strategies, such as using Kickstarter, brand sponsorships, venue residences, studio showcases. And of course, these need some key resources, and each single project has a couple ones, such as distributors, record pressing, producers, studio spaces, and it's very important to understand that sound and vision, it's rooted on the idea and the belief that when the artists finally get together and work together, that's when the strongest cultures come by and the scenes can exist and we can move forward and we can jam and groove together and do all the fun stuff. But most importantly, yeah, the arts can progress. And I cannot finish this without mentioning where the name came from. The name came from a David Bowie song called Sound and Vision. I had the inside of it literally by just listening to it one day. And just recently I went to the lyrics where, and I found that it says, and I was saying, waiting for the gift of Sound and Vision. So there you go, Bowie. <laughs> so, I would like to thank you very much. If you have any resources, can relate to it, or just want to grab a drink, whatever, 
please, is my email. Thank you very much. Much love. Stay bright. <laughs>